God. When I started looking over the years and I started counting up and I started writing it down and yeah. measuring one thing against another. Yeah. There's nothing that this house of God has not set to do that God didn't allow to come to pass. Amen. I'm going to say that again. Somebody hear a living testimony. There's nothing that this church had set his mind to do and didn't get it accomplished because God stepped in. And God can do a lot with a, gotta go help me here, with a little. God defies all odds. He baffles the scholars. He puzzles the accountants. He frustrates the banker. He bewilders the economist. Is there anybody understand what kind of God you serve? God can take a nobody and turn him into somebody. He can take a man with a stick and a stutter and make him a deliverer. He can take a small boy and make him a giant slayer. Cause Jesus can do a lot with a little. Anybody here can think of God today, he's doing a lot in your life with the little bit you do have. I don't know about you, but I'm a living testimony of what God can do, that he can do a lot with a little. Come on, y'all be seated, y'all be seated. Y'all gonna make me close it. Y'all gonna make me preach it right. Got a little bit more to do. Got a little bit more work to do. Got a little bit more work. So now, hold on. Did I see God do a lot with a little in my life? But I've seen it in your lives. Y'all gonna help me here. If there ain't nobody can wave your hand that he's doing it for you. You would have lost it all, but God stepped in. Is anybody glad that God stepped in here today? And not only when I look at it, I saw my obstacles. And I saw the obstacles in the text. But then I saw the order. Y'all gonna help me here. That is in the text. First Corinthians 4, 14 and 40. Said, let all things be done decently and in order. Y'all gonna help me here. How many know that Jesus establishes the order? And so many times we just want Jesus to be a short order cook. You know, we, you know, we, you, we want to be the short order cook. We just want to tell Jesus what we want. Some of us are took Jesus on the main line a little too serious to call him up and tell him what you want. <laughs> Jesus is not a short order cook. But he wants us to take orders. But now we'll understand that he will take prayer requests. And he desires you to be in order. The question is, are you willing to take orders from Jesus? And so I'm telling you, every day I get up and say, Lord, order my steps in thy word and let not iniquity have dominion over me. So we look at we see Jesus, he tells the his disciples, set him down. Set him down. Yeah. And you know, we men, we don't like to be told nothing. He says, set the men down. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me here. We got a lot of people in the modern day church. Right, you know, right here and right now. You can't tell them to do nothing. They'll tell you, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me what to do. But Jesus, in order to do a lot with a little, he told them to sit down. The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want you. Make me lie down in green pastures. Y'all, is that what I'm saying? Sometimes God got to make you sit down so he can supply your needs. Okay, y'all, like, this ain't no shout message. <laughs> See, when you're sitting, then you can be taught. And some things can be taught, but other things got to be caught. Okay, I'm gonna... See, when you're sitting, you start listening. And when you start listening, you start learning. Is anybody want to learn about God?